what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing live swatches of the ColourPop Orange Collection. Is that even what it's freaking called? I don't know anything. Yeah, I guess it's just the Orange Collection. I have a little info card here, but it doesn't say a certain name. Anyway, I have everything here today, you guys. We're going to be live swatching this, of course. Also, real quick before I get started, earrings, necklace, all from Forever 21. Oh, my nail color is from Amazon. It's actually a gel nail polish set. I believe the brand is called Summer Polish. I'll put the correct one down below, but yeah, it's like a set of like six gel nail polishes. This was number 19, I believe. I think their sets are like in numbers. They're not in like names. So I think this was set number 19 and I just love it. They have so many beautiful neon shades and I love this so much. So yeah. That's it. Ooh, this packaging feels like really nice. So I believe one's kind of like a highlighter and one's a blush stick. The packaging just feels amazing, you guys. So let's first start with the blush stick. This is called Under Pressure. Here is Under Pressure. Why do I feel like this is a repeat? Have they had this before? I feel like I've definitely said the words ColourPop and Under Pressure before. I try so many ColourPop products, I can't keep straight what I've tried and what I haven't tried. So I'm just gonna take some on my finger, pop that on the cheek. I love the blush sticks. I love them so very much. On my face right now, I have foundation, but I also have powder. I have translucent setting powder. And sometimes, obviously, putting a cream on top of translucent setting powder, it can get weird and patchy. But the ColourPop blushes just seem to pop on so beautifully, and they really melt into the skin. They're definitely my go-to on days where I, if I'm not filming and I just want to get my makeup done real quick, I'll actually put them on usually before my foundation and then a little bit after my foundation because I love just the natural flush they give the skin. This is gorgeous though. Yeah, I'm almost positive this is a repeat product. I really love it. I mean, it's just easy, it's simple. We've seen colors like this before, so it's nothing super unique that you need to run out and grab immediately by any means, but it's pretty. By the way, you guys, I hope my camera's not too dark. When I'm doing live swatches, I try not to like over brighten the video so you can see what colors actually look like. So next we have the light stick. This is called Bullseye, look at that. It's kind of like a beautiful champagne -y bronze color. This is gorgeous. Though I believe it's gonna be too rich in color for my face, I think over the eyes, this would be gorgeous. Just like a real quick like zzz. Actually, that has a beautiful glow. It's not too deep on me in light anyway. Sometimes with these, if I turn, it gets a little dark, but wow, this is pretty. It's almost like a wheat color. Do you know what I'm saying? How pretty. I know it's not very well blended, is it? A candlelight glow is like exactly what this is. Without being too like white or too champagne-y, it's really, really pretty. So there is Bullseye you guys let me know what you think of those stick duos I really really love them and I'm actually surprised at how good this one looks so next we're gonna do the so juicy glosses this is a gloss duo look how cute this packaging is there's like little tangerine slices printed all over it I love the shiny metallic packaging I mean if Colourpop wins for anything it's always packaging so we have the shades Va Va Boom and She's Here I want to do these before we do the color sticks because I don't want my lips to get too pigmented you know or stained so that you don't see the true color so let's start with the one that looks a little more nude so these are the so juicy lip glosses now they say they're plumping I've never noticed any plumping with these I'm gonna be honest I think they're wonderful glosses but I don't really notice much plumping so here is the shade she's here looks like it has a decent amount of pigment let's pop this on I do love the minty smell gorgeous shine oh my goodness Gorgeous shine, definitely added a really pretty nude tone. Mm, and the peppermintiness is just like yummy. Again, it's nothing super unique. I don't think it's anything you absolutely have to have. I feel like everyone has at least one nude lip gloss. I like this one because it's pigmented and you can see it added a really pretty color to my lips. And the shine is beautiful. It is a sticky one though. Do know that your hair will get caught in it, that annoyingness. But, but I will say I actually wore one of the So Juicy lip glosses to my food tasting, like my final food tasting last night for the wedding and this stayed on my lips like through all the eating I was doing which was a lot actually a little too much so I do love almost how huggable these lip glosses are on the lips they stay on really really well they transfer they're sticky they're tacky but if you like your lip gloss sometimes you like that type of thing the next so juicy gloss is called va va boom look at all this orange goodness and it looks to have some shimmer in there it looks super cute so this just adds a really pretty subtle tangerine color to the lips you can't see it a lot but it's there again unless you're like a diehard lip gloss person and you just want every lip gloss in the world i don't think it's super unique something that you probably don't already have a version of or something that's absolutely necessary and that is it for the lip gloss duo you 
you guys. It's okay, it's cute. It's a cute little set. I don't think it's necessary. So next we're gonna be doing the Lippy Sticks duo. I love the Lippy Sticks. This is the You're So Appealing duo. I mean, like, it's even written on the top, you know? I just love all the attention to detail. Are these repeats too? What's new in this collection? So first off, we're starting with the shade Parker. This is a matte formula. I'm pretty sure this is a repeat, but I forgot how beautiful this color is. Ooh, Parker has me feeling some type of way. This is beautiful. This will look good on everybody. Oh my goodness. I love this. And even though it's a matte formula, it's not the matte X formula. So technically it has a slight sheen to it. It's not like matte, matte, matte. There's a slight sheen to it. I love it because it's not too nude, you know? I love a super nude, but this is like just the right amount of color to wear with anything, you know, pair with anything. It's never going to be too much. So there is Parker. Clearly I'm a huge fan. So next up we have the color Chi Chi, which is also a matte formula. Oh, I remember loving Chi Chi. I remember loving Chi Chi. I mean, is this not, what is this hair doing? Chi Chi is like the love of my life. Look how spicy and hot this lip color is. This will be fire on everybody. This will be so gorgeous on absolutely everyone in the freaking world. This is just such a fun lip color. I'm taking this to Vegas with me. It is absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love. So what do you guys think of that lip set? I know it's nothing new, so again, it's not necessary, but if by chance you missed out on Parker and Chi Chi, cute little duo for sure. A lot of this collection isn't new, I'm obviously realizing now. I actually think just the eyeshadow palette is new. So this is the foursome. It's called But First Quench It, which is funny. And these are four of ColourPop's best-selling orange shades. Oh, cute, and it has a little sleeve. I think that's so sweet. What shades do we have in here? We have Flipper, I remember Flipper, Monkey Business, Bubble Bee, and Let Me Pass. I remember Let Me Pass. I'm sorry, I know these are old, you guys, so you might not care for these uh, live swatches, but, but in case you miss them and you want to see them, I'm going to do it all for you. So first up, we have the shade Flipper. Flipper is an ultra metallic eyeshadow, so a lot of shine in this one. I'm going to go right in with my finger. I love the peachy tone in this one. Look at that. Yes! I remember just loving Flipper. Oh my goodness gracious. Isn't that gorgeous? You know what this reminds me of and I actually prefer it? They're not the exact colors, but the ColourPop Ultra Metallic Super Shock Shadows remind me of the Natasha Denona Crystal Top Coats. I love how these look, but they're like the driest, roughest things to use. I almost had to scrape it like with my fingernail to get the pigment to lift so I could actually get it onto my eyes. So if you wanted a dupe or something similar, definitely look at the Ultra Metallic Super Shock Shadows. You get this sparkly effect with the Natasha Denona, but in my opinion, the Natasha Denona is not as pigmented at all and it's drier and it's a little tougher to work with. Is Flipper not life-changing? I need this. I need this in Vegas. This is my pool day eye look because it's gonna look wet and glossy and gorgeous. I love this whole face here. Like, look at this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Work it, girlfriend. Love it. So there is the shade Flipper. Obviously, I'm a fan. The next shade is called Monkey Business. Monkey business makes me think of, everything makes me think of The Office, you guys know this, but the episode where uh, Michael's having finance problems. Oh God, this feels so soft, sorry. Pam's like, are you having money problems? And Michael's like, monkey problems? I don't have any monkey problems. <laughs> I'm dumb, okay. Ah. Oh. This is so gorgeous. And it feels like the softest putty in the world. I can't even explain it. It is so beautiful. This is obviously a matte formula. So you guys, just so you know, this is considered a pressed pigment and it is not intended for the eye area. There are certain rules cosmetic companies have to follow when using certain dyes and certain colors. This would be one of them to where it's not intended for the eye area. It'll always say that. It's up to you whether you decide to use it on the eyes or not. Use at your own risk type of situation, but if you were to use it on the eyes, this is what it would look like, and my gosh, is it gorgeous. If you've never felt this, like, you guys, I can't explain how it feels. It's almost calming. Like, it feels so good to rub. That was wildly inappropriate. Um, beautiful. So there is the shade Monkey Business, you guys. Let me know what you think. The next shade we are doing is Bubble Bee, and how gorgeous is this freaking color? I love the mustard orangeness, or almost like the squash color of it. It is beautiful, super duper soft. This is another one of those ultra metallic finishes, much like uh, the previous one that we tried, Flipper, which we all know I love. Oh, also, I meant to tell you guys, if you took notice, Monkey Business does stain the eyelids, because that is a pressed pigment again, you know? The color will for sure stain your skin. Definitely be warned. 
warned of that. I love this. I love this with this lip color. My God, it's just beautiful. And believe it or not, you don't see a lot of makeup looks like this, but this was just so freaking simple and easy and gorgeous. Think of yourself like out on a little weekend cookout and you come up with this freaking eyeshadow, maybe even throw a flipper on top of it. Get it to really sparkle. I'm losing my mind. Chi Chi on the lips, woo! The hottest thing at that cookout would be you, darling. Mm-hmm, absolutely. I love this color. See, a lot of people, what's funny about ColourPop collections is I see a lot of comments of being like, it's too much too often. And I understand what you're saying. Trust me, I do. At the same rate, I probably see the exact same amount of comments saying, not another repeat collection, not more repeated products. And I'm like, I like when they repeat some of their products or just kind of re-promote them in new collections because they have so much that you forget that they might already have something that you were looking for and then you don't feel the necessity to buy the entire collection. Maybe you would only be interested in the eyeshadow palette at that point and you're like, okay, chances are I probably already have these at home. They're a repeat or I know that they're probably permanent and I'm going to be able to pick them up at some other time because, you know, it's a repeat. I think it makes their huge production of makeup a little easier to take in because you know most of these were repeats. The only real new bad boy is this guy right here. So I don't know. I like when they do it, but I see people who hate when they do it and then I, it just, it's a lot. <laughs> I guess you can't make everyone happy, but anyway, there is the shade Bubble Bee. I am a huge fan huge fan. And then lastly, in that forest sum, we have the shade Let Me Pass. It is so freaking beautiful. I mean, look at this pigment. This is an ultra glitter, by the way. I cannot wait to pop this sucker on. Oh my goodness. Do you see that? Do you see that magic? Magic in a pan? Oh my lord. Oh, oh my lord. It's beautiful. I don't mean to be that person because I know we're trying to hold on to summer, but colors like this have me so excited for fall. And I know you can wear them in the summer too. It's just like the warm orangey tones. You know, you think of fire and leaves and pumpkins. And I know I'm getting like way overly excited. I think this year I'm like extremely excited for fall and winter because it'll be my first fall being a married woman. How about that? Me, married, the adult child herself. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, but look at this color. Could you imagine this? Think of a fire pit and the light just bouncing off your eyes. I know I think of the dumbest stuff when I live swatch. I can't help it. I just love to envision people wearing makeup and like what they wear it to. I don't know why. It really excites me. But there is Let Me Pass. I mean, holy crap. I would let anyone pass with this eyeshadow. It's beautiful, copper, orangey goodness. Absolute just deliciousness. And I love that it's like a micro glitter as opposed to being like a chunky glitter. You know what I'm saying? Gorgeous. So what do you guys think of the Super Shock Shadow Set? Obviously it's nothing new. You may already have a bunch of these shades at home, but if you didn't, it is a gorgeous little orange set that honestly could carry you all the way into fall, which I love about it. I think it's actually the perfect time for ColourPop to do this kind of orange toned set. I think it's really cool. Okay, are you guys excited? Like enough of all this tomfoolery. We're finally getting into the Orange You Glad eyeshadow palette. I can't believe this palette is only $12. I know I get a lot of flack for loving ColourPop so much, but $12, are you kidding me? These days, CoverGirl, L'Oreal, their eyeshadow palettes run from 12 to 14. I've seen them as high as 16. It's crazy. So you just, you can't stop me from loving ColourPop. So we're gonna go ahead and start live swashing these, you guys, and I can't wait to hear your thoughts. The first shade we are trying is called Zested, right here, a beautiful matte nude. Looks to be kind of like a peachy nude. All I have on my eyelid is just a little pinch of concealer. Oh, gorgeous. It's kind of like a creamsicle color, isn't it? I love that it's matte. Beautiful, the perfect transition shade for any of your orange looks or just any warm, smoky eye, brown, whatever. Really, really pretty. So there is the shade Zested. Next up, we have the shade Squeeze Me, which is just adorable. This is a metallic, ooh, look at all that pigment, girl. Why don't you just drop the whole palette? That would have been a nightmare. Oh, wowza, look at that glow. I like know, I know it was metallic, but I didn't expect it to have such a glow about it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I need Taco Bell, I'm so sorry. <laughs> It just hit me. It hit me like a ton of bricks. Taco, taco, taco. Wow. Oh my gosh, what if ColourPop did a taco collection? That would be amazing. <laughs> and it smelled like, like taco seasoning. <laughs> this is beautiful. Holy crap. Look at that glow. I gotta look at this closely. That is gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's orange, yet it's a little yellow, yet there's a peachy tone to it. If you like oranges, you guys, this is beautiful. 
So there is the shade Squeeze Me. Let me know what you think. The next shade is also a matte. This shade is called Creamsicle. That's funny because didn't we say Zested was a creamsicle shade? Spoke too soon. Oh my goodness gracious. And I guess, I guess it's a little creamsicle-y, but it's like, whoa, it's quite orange. I love that it's matte. Beautiful pigment. Wow, that really like went on perfectly, didn't it? Very, very, very pretty. Oh my gosh. This palette is getting me excited for fall. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to talk about fall. Everyone yelled at me on Twitter today for talking about winter. I'm just excited. And this is gonna be like the perfect fall palette. So there is the shade Creamsicle. Next up, we have another matte shadow. This one is called Rise and Grind. Is that right? Yes, it is. I would have called it Rise and Rind. Cause this isn't a rind. Is that an orange peel? No. Lemon rinds. What's a rind? I don't know. Ooh, just a pretty classic orange. It's not that it's super unique or different or like you haven't seen it before. It's just pretty, very pigmented. Really, really pretty. I like this a lot. I'm a little shocked because I love warm eyeshadow looks. You guys know I do a lot of warm eyeshadow looks. Those are my favorite, but I don't know that I do much orange on my eyes if ever. So this is fun. This is really fun. Uh, there is the shade Rise and Grind. Next up, you guys, is the glitter. This is called Clementine. Again, these are usually not intended for the eyes. I'm pretty sure this one specifically says not intended for eye area, but I'm a rebel. What can I say? We're gonna pop it on this eye. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Super orange. Super cool. Wow. This one is really cool. And I don't think you can get the full effect with my ring light on. So let me turn off my ring light. Don't judge how bad my skin is without my ring light. I'm working on it. I hope that helps you somewhat get an idea of the tone. It's really, really cool, you guys. It's orange, but there's a little bit of like an aqua teal. Um, it's really interesting. I really like it. And let me show you what it looks like in the pan without my ring light on. So it's just, look at that. It's just like magic fairy dust on the eyes. It is super, super fun. So there is the shade or the glitter, I should say, Clementine. Next up, we have the shade Sunkissed. This is a matte. Oh, that's bright. Oh, I like this orange. Oh my goodness. This is like a cheese puff. We're looking like a sexy Cheeto again. My goodness. That is hot, hot, hot. Am I, oh my God, I hate all these little things I do in my videos. Very, very cool, very cool. I'll be honest, my eyelid's getting a little raw. I think that's why it's not sticking completely in the middle, but you guys get the idea. It is a flaming hot Cheeto color. I like it. And all my other sexy Cheetos out there, you'll really like it. You know who I love? Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. I think they're a very sweet married couple. And I think that's like real love, not like celebrity love, but I think it's like real love, which honestly like breaks a Loke's heart because Blake Lively is like his dream girl. Sorry, Shay will have to do. Miss Sexy Cheeto herself just will have to do. But I love them as a couple. Tangerine Dreams is up next. You guys, how do we get to the bottom row already? These nine pan palettes like go so quickly. Oh my goodness, this one's even more glowier than Squeeze Me, or maybe it's not. It's a different type of glow. This one's more of a yellowy glow, but I freaking love it. Oh my goodness. It's like, it's this is sexy mac and cheese is what this is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beautiful, fast, easy, gorgeous. Don't worry about this mess. Don't worry about this mess. Okay, no one's seen me tonight, but the lady at the Taco Bell drive-thru, okay? So there's the shade Tangerine Dreams. I like the more yellow element of it. In fact, let me just swatch next to each other. Squeeze Me and Tangerine Dreams, because I want you to see the difference. See, Squeeze Me has a little bit more of that peach. Tangerine Dreams literally is like more tangerine. So there's Tangerine Dreams and there's Squeeze Me. See that difference? I prefer Squeeze Me, just as like, what colors I love, but Tangerine Dreams is super freaking gorgeous. I mean, and look at that shine. It is unbelievable, unbelievable. And they just feel like butter. They are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So again, there is the shade Tangerine Dreams. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've said Tangerine Dreams 900 times now. One more time for good luck, Tangerine Dreams. All right, you guys, we are on the last two shades, which is good because my eye twitch is really starting to act up. This next one is Mimosa Mommy, Miami? Mimosa Mami. Oh, goodness gracious. That is bright. That reminds me of Monkey Business. It's like a more, I know it's not pastel, but it's like a more pastel version of Monkey Business. Oh, it's so bright. Can you imagine this on top of like a white base? This would be freaking cool. Looks like it would glow in blacklight or something. It looks amazing. 
Oh, wowza. Love, 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 love. Oh my god. There's always at least one shade in a palette that like blows me away from Colourpop. This is it. Mimosa Mommy is it. This is just, oh my god, I can't get over it. It is so beautiful. It is so neon, corally, orangey goodness. I would love to pop like, uh, what is it? Squeeze me like in the center or even the glitter. This is freaking cool. I would buy the palette for this one eyeshadow. It is so beautiful, you guys, so beautiful. So there's a shade Mimosa Mommy? Mammy? I don't know. Last but certainly not least, you guys, we have the shade You Peel Me. That's really funny. And it's dark. Not dark, it's like, it looks like a medium tone. My eyes are so stained from all these tones. It's so funny. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's a very, very, very almost red type of brown. Reminds me of like rust or something like that. It's really pretty though. Wow. I even just like love it all over the lid, just like this. But it'd be super cute as a crease color too. Oh, I love this. Yeah, the last two in the palette, the Mimosa and You Peel Me are my favorite colors in the whole palette. I love them so much. And though this isn't super unique, I'm sure we all have a brown like this somewhere, or maybe we don't, because it's super red. I don't know, I really like it, you guys. So there are all my live swatches of the Orange You Glad palette. Let me know what you guys think. Did you already pick this up? Are you still planning on picking it up? Are you skipping it? And if you're skipping it, let me know for what reason. I'd love to know. I think it's really gorgeous, but I can also see if you don't wear a lot of oranges. You might not get a ton of use out of the palette. It's cute though. It's super duper cute. I love this color. I love this glitter. And what'd you guys think of the collection as a whole? I know the other products were repeats, but that's kind of cool because sometimes you don't need to buy the whole collection, you know? You might already have a bunch of this stuff. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, leave me a little orange emoji. If you don't have emojis, Leave me the letter O. That's a good one for orange. Comment down below with an orange or the letter O and then I'll know you made it to the end of the video and you are a rock star and I can thank you for it. So thank you so very much. If you guys are gonna check out this collection, again, I do have an affiliate code with ColourPop now. The code is SHAE, S-H-A-E, and that'll get you 10% off of ColourPop Cosmetics. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.